Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about working with your guides and manifesting or working with your guides and the law of attraction at the same time. So a lot of people think that the law of attraction only consists of you and the universe. That's not true. Your guides are very heavily involved in you manifesting and you creating your reality. Okay. So I'm going to share with you the most important things you need to know for how to work with your guides while manifesting and for them to assist you in the best way that they can on your 3D journey here or your 5D journey. Whether or not you are consciously aware of it, you create contracts on a moment by moment basis and you create contracts with your spiritual team that you incarnate here with on earth. Your angels, your spirit guides, your higher self, other uh, soul fractals that can come in to assist you as well. And when you speak your reality into existence or you feel your reality into existence, remember whatever you place attention and focus on is what you give life to. You are telling your spiritual team that you want more of this, okay? So a bad way that this could manifest is if you're not aware of the law of attraction and you're always in a poverty mindset. So you're always telling your friends, your family, and yourself how much you're struggling financially and saying all kinds of I am statements like I am broke, I am poor, I can't afford. What you're actually doing is you're creating contracts with your spiritual team to continue that reality for you. The universe and your spirits only give you what you want on this plane. You have the power of free will and of creation of a conscious or unconscious manifestation. But the point is, is that it's really up to you whether or not you're aware of it. So whatever you're speaking out is what your spiritual team is going to get to work on. Okay, so just know that when you set out your affirmations, when you're setting out your, your intentions, um, your scripting, whatever you're using, you're actually working with your spirit guides as well. So just be very aware of that. Whatever one's the most appropriate for whatever you're trying to manifest will step up and assist you. The next thing that is really important to be aware of is not to try to control how your manifestation is going to come about in your life. That is a huge manifestation block that I see over and over is you trying to control how it's all going to play out. You have to be flexible with your spiritual team. You have to simply just send them a very clear intention of the essence of what you're wanting to manifest okay so say you're wanting to manifest financial freedom what you're really trying to manifest is freedom right and you can also visualize a certain amount of money in your bank account to make it even more clear but the point is is that you want to feel free that freedom can come about in whatever way is best for you and trust your spiritual team they know the way that is best for your soul's evolution and that's really going to deeply fulfill and satisfy you do not let your ego take over when it comes to working with the law of attraction allow your spirit to take over send out the intention on a regular basis with your law of attraction rituals and then allow spirit to come back to you in whatever form it is. Welcome the different forms that you're gonna receive it in, okay? Like, I'll give you an example. I have been wanting to make a full-time income online for six years. <laughs> and I tried so many different things and none of them worked. And that's because I really was just chasing money out of desperation and scarcity so as i was actually coming from the wrong state of mind and therefore i was chasing endeavors and ways to make money that were actually not in resonance at all with who i was with my soul with my core values with what i actually wanted to contribute there was a dissonance and i didn't see that at the time i could only see the financial struggle but my spiritual team could see the much bigger picture that this was not the right path for me, that if I was successful in this or that endeavor, it would lead me down a path that actually ultimately would not have fulfilled me. 
okay and eventually yes it took longer but I was led to the right way to make money that resonated in the best way for my own soul's evolution okay so you have to trust that trust whatever way and I always say follow your inspired action you know what feels right when you feel compelled to take action or to go a certain way you feel that sense of excitement that is your spirit guides directly communicating with you this is the way you need to go whether or not you see any kind of result from it whether or not you can see it in, with your mind forget it just follow what they're telling you to do on a moment by moment basis and trust me it will all fall into place it's crazy things will just appear and you're like oh <laughs> That's what they were doing. Next is if you set out an intention and you're you're in a state of receiving and you're waiting and you're waiting and nothing is happening and you've waited, I don't know, months maybe, tap into your spiritual team again, okay? If you wanna learn more about how to channel guides and, and stuff like that, I have videos about it on my channel, so just check out my channel. But tap into them to see what's going on with this intention, why is it not manifesting? usually most of the time you're in resistance to it okay for some reason you are blocking it because you are in resistance and you can't get in the right vibration to align to align to your true intention you're not at the right frequency okay and it's because you're in a state of resistance and you have not let go or detached which you need to do in order for the manifestation to appear so for you to solve this Ask your spiritual team to assist you to pull you out of this state of resistance. Say, I need help with this. I need help to manifest myself into the person that is not in resistance. Start visualizing a new future version of you that doesn't have any resistance and is completely detached from the intention that you desire right now. And they will assist you. They will send you information. They will send you the resources you need in order to do this. And then if it still hasn't showed up and you're not, you're not, you're detached and you really don't care if it shows up at that point, it actually might be that your intention for what you want for some reason is not for the greater good of all or for the greater good of your soul's evolution. But you, and you're just not seeing it. You just can't see yet why this is so. And in that case, ask your spiritual team to help you not want this manifestation anymore because you're not going to care about getting this manifestation if you're a version of yourself that doesn't want the manifestation anymore you see what i mean the whole point of creating the life you want of being the creator of creating your reality is that you're in a certain emotional state you're in a state of joy you're in a state of peace true peace you're in a state of fulfillment that's really what you're after like that's the true essence of what you want so ask your spirit for that directly say help me make peace with this manifestation if it's not meant to manifest for me right now or maybe ever <laughs> make me into the person that is at peace with this that is fulfilled in another way and lead me down the right way and lead me to the proper desires so that I can feel fulfilled, so that I can feel at peace, okay? But that is a very rare case scenario. Usually when you have a desire, the universe wants you to fulfill the desire. Whatever you seek is also seeking you, okay? Especially if it's a very deep, soul-driven desire, which you will know if it is ego-driven or soul-driven. If it's a very soul-driven desire, you are truly meant to manifest it, okay? and keep working with your guides, keep working with the universe, keep working with your higher self to make this happen. I hope that this helped you guys. Um, have fun working with your spiritual team. They're pretty funny. <laughs> They're pretty funny and they, <laughs> um, when you really get a relationship going with them, they have some tricks up their sleeves and they will not fail to surprise you. Let me tell you that. Okay guys, if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.